Now we have both the NPC and the player character attacking animations working and a health bar. We need to detect when a fist collides with the NPC or player and to do that I'm going to attach collusion boxes to sockets on the characters. This video does this for the AI character base class which means that both the NPC and player character will end up with collision boxes on their right fists. So I need to open up the mannequin for these characters. Okay, so we only have to do this once since both the Manny and Queen meshes use the same skeleton, this SK mannequin. So I'm going to open the Manny skeletal mesh. So if I open that up, there is on the right hand a bone where we're going to put a socket. Yeah, it's the hand R bone, this one here. You've got the lower arm and then there'll be like the hand. That's it. actually the wrist. But anyway, I'm going to add to that a socket. I'm going to give it a better name than that. I'm going to call it hand R socket. And I need to save that. So in your code editor, we need to open up the parent of these uh, characters. And that is the CPP AI character base class. I hope you spotted the deliberate mistake. This is wrong. So that should just be collision or whatever you want to call it. Now in the constructor, I've got an initialization list here. So these days I almost exclusively use the curly brace initialization syntax of C11 because it avoids a load of problems. It's just that it's uniform and consistent. And it's complaining I haven't got the header, I think. If I do alt return, I'll include it for me. So that's that. I've got to add something to consts. This will move the uh, center of the box along the hand by seven units in the X direction. Got to go back here and there's an if statement to add. So if that collision box was uh, created correctly, so one up F attachment transfer uh, transform rules object now make it cons and call it rules I've misnamed it, haven't I? Keep typing first instead of fist. This code attaches the collision box to the socket we set up. The transform rules requires four arguments and the first will snap to the location. The second will snap to the rotation. The third specifies to use the world scale 
and the last one is full to indicate we do not want to weld simulated bodies together. According to the documentation, E attachment rule is an enum that has three possible values, keep relative, which uses the current relative transform as the relative transform for the new parent, keep world which calculates the relative transform such that the attached component maintains the same world transform and the one we're using which is snap to target just snaps to the attachment point we then attach the socket and then set the relative location which i determined by experimentation we should be able to do a build now so let's try that so that was successful we open up this um Blueprint for the third person character and look at the viewport. You can see we've got this box here now. It's actually in the right place. I don't know if that's going to be the actual size. If I select it and uh, there is a way of, uh, is it because this is overriding or something? Maybe I didn't set the box extent, but it's hidden in game in it so if I switch that off and do a compile if I now run this see what happens yes it's rather large I think I've forgotten to set the extent or something we've got the box size Do it here. Uh, what's this? Um, oh, it's called defs, isn't it? It's in the defs namespace. I forgot defs. Do another build. Let's open it back up again. It's still large it's still big in it it's a bit more like it don't know why that's not working but there it is anyway and in fact we should see that the NPC has got one as well and this one is too big as well so I think I'm gonna to have to set this one up like I did for the player yeah it's set a 32 isn't it I couldn't see it because it was Hidden in game, wasn't it? So switch that off for now. Compile. Save everything. So now that's still ah uh, yes, you can get these overrides on the actual instance if I was to pull a new one in it's also 32 it's odd not sure why it's doing that but it seems to be overriding my settings anyway that's it for this video